What's up everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to fix your side button over here is not working on your iPhone and how we can fix it. So let me directly get into a step. So the first one is all about, you can do a restart on your iPhone. So for the convenience, I'm asking Siri to do a restart on my iPhone. So I'm going to give a command to the Siri like this. Hey Siri, Please restart my iPhone. So it's asking for the restart. So just go for restart. So that's right now, as you can see, your device will be completely restart and you have to check. Now it can just check whether you are able to solve the issue or not. So you can just check over here. So right now, if after checking, still if you have the trouble, the next one is all about, you have to do a complete reset all settings on your iPhone. So just go over here in the settings. And from here, you have to scroll down and navigate to the general. Now from here, you have to scroll down over here and tap on transport or reset iPhone. Go for reset. And that is an option called reset all settings. And before that, you have to keep in mind one thing, reset all settings is not going to wipe any of your data. All it's going to do is it is going to give you a reset for home screen layout and such things. So uh, the data will not be wiped up. So just make sure that you just go over here for the reset old settings and you don't have to panic on that. You'll be losing the data. Once the reset old setting is done, so still you have to check whether the trouble is there. If you're having the trouble, we need to update the OS. So just go back from here. So all you have to do is just go over here in the general once again. Now from here, go to the software update. And right now, over here, you have to check the software update. Is it up to date or not? So right now, I'm having an update option, which means I have to go for the update and just update your software. And after the update is done, all you have to do is just go back over here and you have to check whether the issue is solved. Right now, for me, the issue is solved and I'm going to press this. It is going to lock it, so as you can see. So still, if you're having the trouble after trying all these three steps, so if you're having the trouble, all you have to do is you just need to do is one thing that is all about. We have to, it's an issue with your hardware. So you have to book an appointment with the Apple customer care and you have to talk to them and you have to move to the nearest one and they're going to help you guys out. So these are the steps and I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more of these kind of videos. See you soon next video. Peace out. Bye bye.